Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. Let's get to Farnborough International uh, Show, where we can frame the narrative a little bit further. Guy Johnson is sitting down with the CEO of Qatar Airways. Guy, good morning. Manas, thank you very much indeed. Badr Almir is the new CEO of Qatar Airways. It is fantastic to speak with him and have him join us here at the Farnborough Air Show. Nice to see you. Very good to see you too. Friday was a busy day for the aviation sector. Yeah. Talk me through the effects on your airline. Talk me, the, talk me through the effect that you're still seeing. Is there any effect that we're still seeing? I'll talk about our airline and our airport. Thank God uh, we were not affected out of our base in Doha. Everything was uh, moving smoothly. Our on-time performance on that specific day was around 87-88%. Uh, but we were expecting some delays after our wave because our early morning wave uh, is basically going to Europe and the US. So we were expecting some delays for our flights coming back from Europe and, and, and the US because the airports were getting busy, so many flights were getting cancelled. But luckily, it was better than what we expected from... from uh, What's the lesson? Lesson, you always have to have a plan B. If technology fails you, you need to go back to, to you need to have, again, you need to depend, de- depend on technology, but you have to have a plan B. Um, Ryanair this morning downgrading its demand expectations, its pricing expectations. What are you seeing in terms of demand and pricing? You know, we have recorded uh, record profit uh, last financial year. Yep. And uh, we keep uh, getting asked this question. Uh, and we continue to say no, demand is there. However, the proof is, the, is in the pudding. Uh, our first quarter of, of this financial year uh, is another uh, record profit. Uh, it, 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 it is way more than the, the net profit that we have recorded in the first quarter of last year. And it is also exce- exceeding our... our uh, so is demand budget. accelerating? It is. From what we see, it is. OK. You are going to unveil in an hour or so your new premium class cabin, your first class cabin, your business class cabin. I, it's what you've got. It's the Q suite. And it's going to go into the 777X, which is an aeroplane that we're all waiting for. Yeah. It's the, the new Boeing... Um, and we've been waiting for quite some time. And I'm wondering kind of if you're prepared to wait that long to put this new product into this new aeroplane. Does it have to be the new Q suite with the new 777X? You know, we're putting the new Q suite on both aircrafts, the 777X and the 350. Uh, so it's going to go in the new 350? Absolutely, yes. And the 777X, the date that we have now from Boeing is, is around first quarter of 2026. 2024 is already over, so you're talking yeah. about one year, uh, a year, a year and a half. You're confident today. on that date? Yeah, we got we got a c- confirmation and a commitment from Boeing that they will be able to deliver uh, the aircraft on this date. So, so where do we see it? Where do we need it? Where do we see this new Q suite first? Is it going to be on the 350 or the 777X? It will be on the 777X. Right. And if it's delayed any further, it'll that that, that changes. You'll put it into yes. the 350. Yes. We're also expecting a big order from Qatar. We, we thought it might come at this air show. Yeah. There, there were rumours. There yes. was some expectation. There are some rumours. Yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a big order. Yeah. So we want to take our time in evaluating the bids or the offers that we got, uh, we received from Boeing and Airbus. Yeah. We're busy evaluating both uh, offers. We're in continuous discussion with, with both uh, manufacturers. And, and we're hoping, we're aiming to, to conclude uh, the, the deal, the decision yeah. by, I would not say uh, in this year, maybe in the beginning of next year. Where's the delay? Like, you're evaluating the offers, so, so you've got what you need or are you still waiting for what you need? We got what we, we got, partially we got what we need. Yep. And the offers, but we asked for something different uh, this time from both manufacturers. And, and uh, this is where we're uh, spending uh, some time in, in, uh, this, in, in, in the discussion with them. Is it engines? Is it aircraft? What is, where's, the, where's the challenge at the moment? And, no, there is no challenge. Uh, it's very clear uh, what we are asked for. But the other element that we ask the, 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 the manufacturers to bid for or to propose it uh, yep. for us, because it is something new, 
maybe maybe in the industry or the way they bid for for uh, tenders this is where we are in continuous discussion with them okay um back to the q suite what what difference is that going to make like how what do you, how do you think this is going to change the product that you are going to be able to offer and how do you think it's going to keep you competitive you know, for us, the Q-Suite, everybody knows the Q-Suite. Either you uh, tried it or you read or uh, read about it. Yep. So it's been there for, for many years. It raised the benchmark uh, for many years. And, uh, you know, we won so many awards. Our team decided to take a new challenge by basically push the bar once again, raise the, the, uh, the benchmark, yep. and to basically do some some uh, modification in the in the uh, and i'm not talking about colors or fabrics or no yeah. it's it's uh, structural uh, changes in the in the uh, okay well that takes me to my next question yeah. perfectly structural changes a a reassessment of of what the airline does you've come in as the new ceo you used to run the airports you've stepped stepped into the to the airline role now all I hear about is you changing the culture in a significant way, structural changes at this airline in terms of the way that, that it operates. Talk me through the, some, of, some of the metrics you're looking at in terms of the effect that that is going to have. You're loosening people's, the, the way they work. You're giving them more autonomy. What effect is that going to have? What effect is it going to have on things like job retention? Talk me through the numbers you're looking for. You know, what, what we're trying to achieve out of this is to make people, our people in the company, feel they're listened to and they're part of the decision and they're not scared or stressed to speak up their opinion by the end of the day we're getting the best the, the, the experts in each field in each area and this is this is what we want to do basically to to have them talk about areas that that matters for the company yep. Uh, this is on one side. So basically, it's a culture of, of empowerment and, and trust. And also basically holding people accountable and li- liable for decisions they make. On the other hand, we've noticed with some of the easement and some of the policies that we have in place for our staff that we see some, some, uh, some good uh, outcome of it. And previously, we had a problem in certain areas with the attrition of, of uh, our staff. Yep. It was double-digit per- in percentage, 18, 19 percent uh, every month. We, the, 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 this number dropped by 70 percent. So people want to stay in the company. People really appreciate working for Qatar Airways. And they see that their, uh, their future is uh, with the best airline in the world. So staff retention has already improved significantly? Absolutely, yes. In, in terms of what that means in terms of your ability to deliver products and control costs, I, what effect will that have in terms of the bottom line? You know, by the end of the day, we're talking about numbers. Last year, we recorded, again, the highest profit in the history of the company. Yep. This quarter, we, we are recording the highest profit in the history of the first quarter in the company. Yep. We're talking about percentage-wise uh, triple uh, digits compared to last year. So this is a, this is a proof that we're looking at revenue plus looking at, at reducing cost and cutting cost wherever it is necessary. As long you. as it yeah. will not affect the customer uh, experience. Uh, I've got one final quick question. I'm going to get told off for this. Rwanda Air and some of the South African airlines and other areas. Uh, talk me through what we're going to see in terms of deals. You know, I was I was hoping to announce our investment in, in uh, the South African airline in this interview. However, because of some some uh, final uh, stages... Which name are we talking about? Uh, again, it's one of three companies. Yeah. And I promise you, you will be the first to know. I will be the first to know. Badaramir, CEO of Qatar Airways, sir. Thank you very much indeed.